You're watching the Delta News at 5. As we continue to have the humid conditions around the Delta, a few isolated showers are forming as we push through the afternoon and now into the evening. But you can see they are widely scattered across most of the Delta, mainly focused back through Washington, Bolivar, and now to the south, back through Sharkey and Issaquina County. We'll take a closer look at some of those cells that fired up here in the Washington County area. We had a couple back closer to Leland, saw a few more of those showers. And then we had a couple on the eastern side of Greenville. We also have a little cell just to the west of Inverness, but most of this is beginning to fall apart, and you can see that little cell is also beginning to rain itself out now as we push later into the evening hours. Farther to the south, we also have a couple little cells making their way through the Rolling Fork area and a little farther south along Highway 61, but those two are beginning to fall apart. But you can see some moderate rain embedded in if you get one of these showers over top of your community, but it doesn't last all that long, maybe five to ten minutes, and then the rain comes to an end, and now we're just dealing with very hot and humid conditions in the Delta. Still in the 90s at this hour, 91 in Greenville, 92 in Greenwood. Factor in that humidity, you can see the sharp cutoff. We still have dew points in the 70s back through Greenville. Back into Greenwood, though, they're already starting to fall into the mid-60s, and then we even have upper 50s back into the Tupelo. So there is some drier air out to our east trying to move in, but it looks like it's getting stuck right along Highway 55 and not able to make its way all the way into the Delta. So we are still dealing with some sticky conditions. Feel like temperatures did get into the triple digits for a couple hours this afternoon. Now we've dropped down to around 99 in Greenville, 95 in Greenwood. And a large portion of the country is still hanging on to the summertime heat. As you can see, a lot of 90s for feel like temperatures back across the heart of the country. Even D.C. was up to 100 for a feel like temperature a couple hours ago. And the reason for that is we continue to have the jet stream way up to the north. You can see it's focused back through the northern Great Plains and then riding up into Canada. The reason for that, we have a huge area of high pressure in the upper atmosphere, kind of blocking that from making its way down. So we're going to continue to see hot and humid conditions over the coming days days while the cool air, more fall like air stays way up to the north back into Canada. And it looks like as we move throughout much of September, that's where that cool air is going to stay. And it looks like summer's going to be sticking around at least for the rest of this week and much of next week as the 90s are going to continue with us. This evening temperatures only falling into about the lower 70s across the good portion. We should be getting into the mid 60s, so it is still on the mild and humid side even at night. Tomorrow afternoon we're watching those temperatures climb into the mid uh, lower 90s, around 93 for an average, could get up to 94, 95 out to the east and to the south where they're running into a little bit of that drier air. Temperatures are able to heat up a little bit more. And then as we go into Friday, we can see 94 as well with mostly sunny skies. By Saturday, things begin to change a little bit as a cold front starts to push towards the Delta. It'll provide a 40% chance for some scattered showers throughout the day. And with the rain and clouds, temperatures hold in the lower 90s. Behind the front, some slightly cooler air. Not a whole lot, but you'll maybe notice it as we're down to 87 for an afternoon high. But the big story is we do get a little bit less humid come Sunday and the Monday. But then we're right back into those mid-90s with the humid conditions and a slight chance for showers by next Tuesday and Wednesday. So Sunday looks to be the great day over the next seven to kind of get outside and enjoy some of those outdoor activities.